様にお願いがあります、えー、登録者数がとても少ないのでぜひ登録をお願いします Hello everyone This is the Hayama no Kantan Katakana e k a i w a This time I'd like to introduce to you about the flying bike えー、皆さんこんにちは、えー、今回は空飛ぶバイクをご紹介したいと思います、えー、これは日本が、えー、先駆けて、えー、世界に発表してもう販売されているものです道路交通法とかの問題で今私有地でしか飛べないんですけれどもホバリングバイクというものですこれはあドローンとか AI の開発会社アメリカにあるんですけどもそこの日本人の方が開発に携わったものです「スター・ウォーズ」からインスパイアされたものです今回はこの動画から皆さんいくつの新しい「ニュー・ワールド」をゲットできるでしょうか「プリーズ・チャレンジ」「エクス・ツーリスモ」は7770万円で1年前ぐらいからオーダーを開始して、えー、1台もう売れたそうです、えー、ご覧ください The world's first flying bike hitting the market、uh, right now only available in Japan for about half a million dollars How about that? So the bike has a 228 horsepower motor with four fans providing extra power and stability, I would hope. The flying bike, they say, inspired by the Star Wars franchise, although China made a good point. ET, maybe? So the company selling say that they have received orders from all over the world already. これめちゃくちゃかっこいいの
On September 21, 2022, during the North American Auto Show in Detroit, a flying motorcycle will make its U.S. premiere. It can travel at speeds of 62 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per hour for up to 40 minutes. The Detroit-based company Airwinds created the flying hoverbike motorcycle. Drones and unmanned vehicles are produced in Delaware. The X Turismo is now $777,000, but Airwinds claims it will create a less expensive model the next year and a fully electric version in 2025 that will cost just $50,000. Recently, Thad Scott, co-chair of the auto show, rode the hoverbike. He told Reuters, I felt like I was truly 15 and I just got out of Star Wars and I went on their bike. It's incredible. That is thrilling. It is neither uncomfortable to take off or land, nor is it fierce. It was incredibly seamless, nothing broke, and I'm looking forward to the future. Shuhei Komatsu, CEO of Airwinds, has been a lifelong fan of the Star Wars franchise. Since last fall, the hoverbike has been available for purchase in Japan, which does not consider it to be an aircraft and does not call for a license to operate one. However, the X Turismo is still only permitted to fly or hover on racetracks in Japan due to rigorous regulations for such machines. The company stated in January that it would only be producing 200 units. Currently, a 228-horsepower gas-powered Kawasaki motorbike engine propels a huge central two-rotor hoverbike. On the edges are also four smaller electric support rotors. Similar to a typical helicopter, the hoverbike is supported by two landing sites when it is at rest on the ground. The X Turismo, which has been under development for the past two years, is roughly 12 feet long and weighs 660 pounds. How was it? Do you like it? で、次に見ていただく動画は、うん、これちょっと合成じゃないかと思うんですけれども、まあ、未来的にはこういうふうに、えー、空飛ぶバイク、フライン・モーターサイクルはあ活用できますよっていう,う動画だと思います。<音楽>雨とか嵐とか台風とか雪の日にはどうなのかなって思ったりしますけれどもスターーウォーズを彷彿させるものだと思いますチャンネル登録をよろしくお願いします。あとコメントもよろしくお願いします。Thank you for watching. I see you later.